Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain a plugin that's not so popular, but I think it's useful and this plugin will tell you when the next alarm is set. In this tutorial I will do a simple example, but in my own task it's more advanced. I will show you that later. So for now, this is the easiest way to do that. Let's see that. When is the next alarm set? Set on 7 o'clock in 15 minutes. As you see here on my super widget, you will see here the next alarm is indeed set at 7 o'clock and 15 minutes. So, how can you retrieve that information from your phone? It's quite easy. We're gonna use a plugin also made by the developer of the auto apps. So, as you know, I'm a fan of all the auto apps like auto voice, auto notification, auto share, auto remote, etc, etc. The plugin is called auto alarm. It's quite easy and let me show you how it works. First of all, you need to download the auto alarm plugin. Then when you have installed that plugin, you have to configure several options. First of all, let's open the auto alarm plugin. Here I'm inside my auto alarm. You see different things. Test, local, custom words, decimals. First of all, you have to set your local. So when you click on local, let's do that. As you see, you can set different countries. In this example, I'm using just English, but it's a long list. As you see, you have a lot of possibilities. If you have chosen the right one, click on that. I'm gonna cancel that right now. And then you can test it. When I click on that, you will see here success. And the time now is Sunday, the 2nd March, 13 hours, 19 minutes and 41 seconds. And you will see here the next alarm is detected. And you will see you can use also other variables inside your task. For example, the variable row, minutes, days, seconds, error, hours, hour, etc, etc. Okay. The only thing you need to do is use those values inside Tasker. Let's open Tasker right now. And here I'm inside Tasker. You see, I'm using an auto voice recognized event behavior and that's only one thing the command is the next alarm and i use rejects of course and event behavior is true of course and our task is the next alarm and you will see only two things this is a quite easy example i told that before so the first thing we do is auto alarm we enable the auto alarm plugin so when you click on the plus button then you click on plugins, then you will find here auto alarm, here is auto alarm. Then click on that and then you don't have to configure anything, okay? As you see here, no configuration is needed. Then you can use a say command or a flash command or anything you want and you can use several variables. I'm gonna open that. The next alarm is set on hour, o'clock, and minutes, minutes. That's quite easy. When I click on the variable list, you will see here auto alarm, cumulative days to the next alarm, uh, hours to the next alarm, uh, minutes to the next alarm, days of the month, alarm will go off days to the next alarm error etc etc you have a lot of variables that you can use so this is a simple tutorial how you can create that in my case i'm using a more advanced task let me open that and my next alarm is in dutch as you see i'm using auto alarm and then i'm using set variables if statements etc etc First I'm using variable set for the evening and the morning and then I use also if statements if the minutes is 15 I'm gonna say quarter past etc etc same with the 30 half past minutes when the minutes is zero and then else statement and if statement 
and then I'm using also some variable sets and the last action will count how many days, hours and minutes are left from the next alarm. So as you see it's more advanced. You can make your task whatever you like. So in that case this is mine. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and see you next time. Bye.